Okay, so I did an order with Aircraft Spruce because after analyzing everyone's prices, that was the cheapest place to go by almost 50%. So I ordered enough metal to remake these wing things here because uh, they're not going to be right. They're going to be off a little bit, but I can straighten them out. So I'm going to replace all of these on the wings so that I can get them to where all of them are the same level from the bottom of the wing to here. They're not right now. That's why the wings are all cockeyed and messed up. And that's probably why they had to have extra horsepower to fly the plane. I ordered the uh, plywood to fix this right here. Okay. And uh, let's see. Over here, I did not order the plywood for these because I'm going to leave these on here and uh, trim them down. And I'm going to 3D print a brace uh, to go against here. Okay, pushing here to there because what's happened is they did this when the fabric was put on, it squeezed this and that's what bent and broke these things. It needed to have support here so I can use this and this with a piece of 3D printed material up against here. Could have done the same thing with plywood, but why bother? The 3D printed stuff's stronger. So let's see, uh, so I didn't order that. I ordered uh, enough stuff to replace these four tubes there's two up front here, and there's two more here, but these two are okay. These two, these two, and all of this right here has to be replaced because it's all drilled, cockeyed, and screwed up. <clears throat> so, ordered that. And uh, the thick aluminum there that's like three-quarter by one and a quarter or something, I ordered enough of that to brace across here two pieces. Uh, so I can just reuse this engine mount here. Uh, I may end up rebuilding that entire mount, but for right now I'm just going to leave it in place for sizing and weight and balance. And uh, before, before the plane flies, I may actually just replace that whole thing. I looked at building one like that, and when I get up here and look at it, I may go to that one in the future, something like that, but for now I'm going to use this because it'll just be faster and easier to do the weight and balance, get the engine thrust line up in there and all that. And then once I know... The plane flies with the engine I'm putting on it for now, and the thrust line's right, then I can redo the engine mounts to look like that. Uh, so all of that was uh, $298, basically, to fix and correct all the stupidity and the damage. And uh, so that's where we are right now.